Cabernet, smooth Cabernet, amazing Cabernets. Um, I don't know, man, maybe there was something in the water that day, huh? Maybe, uh, you know, we all got up that morning and, and uh, you know, had uh, a cup of coffee it was extra delicious and, and uh, you know, the, you didn't have to yell at the kids and no fires to put out. And so basically we walked into work uh, a couple months ago and I guess we we're all feeling pretty good because the new releases from Nickel and Nickel are some of the greatest versions of these wines we've ever tasted. So long story short, Nickel and Nickel. Gil Nickel started this up early 2000s, uh, a single vineyard Cabernet Sauvignon program dedicated towards kind of showcasing the various terroirs around the Napa Valley. Now, terroir in the Napa Valley, that can be a discussion for another day, huh? But what we did taste here and what we do see here is it is the essence of Napa Valley. And now granted, there are some variations stylistically year to year, which there should be, right? These wines should taste different every year. As single vineyard offerings, they should reflect their particular vintages and they have done that. But why can't something reflect the vintage and be like triple awesome? <laughs> And that's what we have here in 2021. 21 is a watershed vintage for the Farniente team, the Farniente Nickel and Nickel team. It is a terrific year. And quite honestly, everything we tasted from their basic post and beam Cabernet Sauvignons up to Bella Union, which is their new kind of Rutherford based project they have going, which was phenomenal, to the Nickel and Nickel wines was all aces. We tasted five Nickel and Nickel single vineyard Cabernets. We bought all of them. But for the sake of brevity today and for the offer, we thought we'd showcase two of our favorites. Um, something old, something new, as it were, right? So uh, on my left, boom, there you go. We have the Fog Break Vineyard. This is a um, single vineyard that uh, Nickel and Nickel works with 20 acres of uh, on Atlas Peak, just down the road from the famous Stagecoach Vineyard. Some of you may be familiar with Stagecoach. It's one of the more famous vineyards in this neck of the woods. It's Atlas Peak, the southeastern part of the Napa Valley. High elevation, 1,400 feet, really rugged terrain. Uh, the soil, as they say, is mostly consists of like decomposed rocky outcroppings, right? So really gnarly stuff. It's tough up there. It's windy. And usually <clears throat> what you get up here is, I've liked a lot of the wines from Atlas Peak, but I've had seldom few that I've loved. And this is probably the best Atlas Peak Cabernet Sauvignon I've ever had, uh, really. What we're getting here is the essence of the mountain, but with a layer of minerality and complexity that I associate more with Howe Mountain, actually, than I would with the Atlas Peak area. And this is just a, a stunning, a full-bodied, powerhouse style of mountain Cabernet Sauvignon that really, really reflects its origins. Blockbuster wine, completely in love with this. And I can't even know if this is the first or second vintage they produce of this, but absolutely stunning. You know, it, it's funny, you know, winemaker Joe Harden, I think he's, he started here in 2018. He worked in Mondavi before, basically. He ran Mondavi's Tokelon program. So he was one of the serious mucky muck winemakers in Mondavi. And I think he got here in 18 and just started working with these different vineyards and terroirs and gave himself an opportunity to learn the vineyard. So I think part of this might also be him just growing with the vineyards over this period of time and, and learning which ones work well, State Ranch. This is one of the inaugural Cabernet Sauvignon vineyards that Nickel and Nickel started with, with their project. And State Ranch, for some of you, uh, you may know is down in the Yountville area. And some of you may know this vineyard under a different name, namely the State Lane Vineyard, which uh, was immortalized by Cap Shandy. And their um, oodles and oodles of 100 point wines that were produced from this site. So um, Nickel and Nickel share this vineyard uh, with Cap Shandy and they produce their own wine, except they call it State Ranch. Same dirt. All right, so Yountville, let's think Yountville. South side of the valley, technically cooler, but not that much cooler. We are um, just on the border of Stags Leap District, um, eastern side of Yountville. So not the Dominus side. Dominus is like uh, west side and this is east side. So it's almost more like manifesting kind of like the pseudo Stag's Leap meets Oakville type mojo here in this wine. <clears throat> Same type of deal. Tons of these cascading black fruit flavors. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, what makes the 21 so special here? The balance is exquisite. The symmetry and what we like to call verticality, the, the energy in these wines is unmistakable. So in spite of their power and their weight and their intensity, these wines deliver in a package that is ingratiating yet um, humming, it's electric, right? So you can drink a lot of this stuff. These wines are dangerous, dangerous to drink. 
across all five vineyards that we're selling here. But in particular, the State Ranch, something old, Fog Break, something new, are two of the ones that really got our goat. Um, they got Suckling's goat too, 97 points from Suckling on each one of these. And when you consider the price, we're selling them for 110 a bottle. And when you consider that, Farniente actually sells their Oakville Cabernet direct from the winery at like, what, 250 bucks a bottle? So a single vineyard wine from Farniente is half the less than half the price of their Oakville bottling. Right, the whole thing, even back in 2003 or whenever when they started, it was a little bit like, this does not make sense. But this does not make sense in the best way possible. Uh, the wines are limited. We have a short window on them. Two of the best Cabernet Sauvignons we've had from the great 2021 Napa Valley Vintage. Two winners from Nickel and Nickel.